In this video, we demonstrate how to securely share live access to your Esvis cameras with your neighbor's or friend's phone using the Esvis app's sharing features. This feature allows you to share your devices with others, offering customizable permissions such as live view and playback. We'll guide you through managing shared users, setting specific access levels, and revoking sharing when necessary. Whether for collaborative security management or remote monitoring, this tool makes it easy to grant and control access to your cameras. To get started, have your neighbor or friend download and install the Esvis app on their phone from the Google Play Store or Apple App Store. This step is important for ensuring they have the app ready. To begin using the Esvis app on your friend's phone, they should first select their region based on their country. Then, they need to register for an Esvis account using their mobile number or email ID for secure sharing. To do this, open the Esvis app and select the Create New Account option. There are two methods to register, via email or mobile number. Select the option that is most convenient for you, in this example, we'll use email registration. Enter your email address and create a password for your account. Then, complete the CAPTCHA to verify you're not a robot. Next, check your inbox for a verification code and enter it in the app to confirm your email address and complete the registration process. Once registration is complete, you will see the Add Device option on the home screen, where your devices will be listed after being added. To grant access, include the newly created user in the primary phone's sharing feature, ensuring they can view and manage the shared devices. The new user may be prompted to add biometric authentication for easier access in the future using their fingerprint or face recognition. They can either skip this step or enroll, depending on their phone's authorization settings. Now, on your primary mobile phone, navigate to the camera's live view page. At the top of the live window, you'll find a share icon. Click on this icon, select the share option, and then choose share QR code to proceed. Note, each camera has a separate sharing option, so you will need to share them one by one using this method. Another method to share the camera with others is by using their email ID or mobile number instead of a QR code. In the email field, enter your friend's or neighbor's registered account user ID, which can be their email address or mobile number, depending on how they registered. This ensures the sharing request is sent to the correct account. For this example, we will choose to generate a QR code for sharing. Once the QR code is generated on the primary phone, your friend's phone should click the Add Device option, then select the scanner icon at the top right of the page to scan the QR code. They will need to allow the required permissions to open the camera for scanning. Scan the QR code, and you may see an Apply Now option. Click on that to send a notification to the primary phone requesting access. On the primary phone, a sharing notification will appear once the QR code is scanned. This notification will be displayed on the home screen, typically below the Page tab, and will include an option labeled Device Sharing. By selecting this option, you will be able to view and manage the permissions for the shared camera, which may include options such as Live View, allowing the user to see the live feed from the camera, Playback, granting access to recorded footage for review, and PTZ Control, enabling the user to control the pan, tilt, and zoom functions of the camera if applicable. Additionally, there may be other features that can be shared depending on the camera's capabilities. You can choose to grant all these permissions or customize the access levels based on your preferences. For instance, you might allow live view and playback but restrict PTZ control. Once you have set the desired permissions, click the Accept All button to finalize the sharing process, which will send the permissions to the newly added user, 
allowing them to access the camera according to the granted settings. After accepting the invitation, the shared cameras will be listed under the device screen option on your friend's phone. The user can click on the thumbnail image of any camera to access its live view, just as they would with their own devices. If the camera is locked, you will be prompted to enter a verification code. This code is either located on the camera body or can be found in the camera menu on the primary phone. Enter the code to unlock and access the camera for viewing. I hope this video helps you effectively share your ESVIS cameras with others while offering customizable permissions tailored to your needs. This method makes it simple and efficient to collaborate with family, friends, or neighbors by sharing access to the same or different primary ESVIS cameras. Additionally, if you ever decide to revoke camera access for any reason, you can easily remove the user from your account with just a few taps. This ensures you maintain full control over who can view your cameras at all times. For more detailed information about the sharing process and to discover other useful features of the ESVIS app, be sure to follow our channel for the latest updates and tutorials. We strive to provide valuable content to enhance your experience with ESVIS devices. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials. Your support helps us create more informative videos.